let's talk about smart mapping and data-driven styling. <clears throat> now, uh, so mapping is at the core of what we do at Esri. I'm sure many of you, like me, remember that aha moment when data finally became clear and the patterns of understanding came to life. With uh, Esri and smart mapping, you have the power to create, to turn that raw data into um, uh, powerful geographic information to create impressive visualizations. And we do this through mapping styles. And mapping styles allow you to answer questions like where things are, when did it happen, what's going on around here, and how much occurred at this location. So let's take a look at a few of those mapping styles. Here's a, a map of uh, historical markers in Ireland, so I can see quickly where those things occurred. Here we're looking at time. We're looking in this Minneapolis street inspections for when did they do the inspection. Here we're looking at aquifer storage trends and the human impact and the levels of threat for each of the categories, telling me what's going on here. This is also telling me what's going on here. It's telling me what's the most popular commute alternatives. But the data didn't come this way. This smart mapping style predominant category allows you to work with columns of numeric data that will, help, that will automatically find the, the column that has the most impact and will communicate that to your users. The predominant category can also com communicate what's most common and the impact or the magnitude of what's happening in the area with the predominant category and size. <clears throat> you can also create maps that compare two variables together, like this map showing uh, percent of excessive drinking and comparing it with percent smokers. So you can see where both are high and both are low. When we start to think about communicating how much happened, we can use color to dynamically uh, apply that to our data to communicate the things like the percent of adults getting insufficient sleep. It also applies in the 3D sense, using color to communicate the energy score of these buildings in lower Manhattan. Not only can we use color to communicate how much is happening, we can use size to communicate the magnitude of its impact, like this map of living in poverty in Orange County. And finally, we can compare um, how much is going on above and below some significant average or index, like this emergency expense risk index for Southern California. So it's very cool. All right, now I'd like to turn it over to Christian, who's gonna show you the latest in smart mapping styles. Christian? Thank you, Jeremy. I'm excited to introduce dot density as a new visualization style in the JavaScript API. This is a cl classic cartographic technique in which dots are randomly drawn within polygons to visualize the density of a population or some other attribute. Take a look at this map, which visualizes one dot for every 1,600 people in the United States. You can immediately begin to see areas of high population density versus others. We take advantage of color to map subcategories of the population. In this particular case, one dot of each color represents 1,600 people of a different race. So you can see their spatial distribution as well. This visualization even works well across scales, so that as we zoom closer to an area such as New York, you'll notice the dot value change. So now each dot represents 25 people. We create this visualization um, with the, by using the power of the GPU. So you can not only display many features, but you can also update the visualization quickly, including the value of the dot or even the color. So in this particular case, I've customized the legend so that you can emphasize each category as the user hovers over each, each uh, race. And this is all with very fast performance. So they can see uh, patterns that might not otherwise be visible when the full renderer displays. Or you can create apps such as this one, 
in which one dot represents one house built in the Houston area. And I'm animating the visibility of each dot based on the year in which it was constructed. This may look like an animated GIF, but it's not. This is a feature layer powered by dynamic feature tiles that we can interact with, highlight, query, and analyze all within the browser. So you can take what can be a bland cartographic technique and transform it using the JavaScript API to a visualization that sparks interest in your users. Thank you.